guys, this is the Transformers, and today we're looking at the Transformers Generations 30th Anniversary Triple Changer Springer. This um, is a Voyager class um, figure. He's um, got three modes. He's got an armored car mode, a helicopter mode, and his robot mode. Um, but before we look any more into Springer, let's take a look at his packaging. Springer has a very nice packaging, some very nice packaging. He comes with his directions and um, everything but uh very nice packaging he's got a very nice little um sticker of him in his robot mode on the front he got the 30th anniversary little logo right there Autobot Springer triple changing he's got an Autobot symbol right there it says Autobot Springer it shows a little picture of him down there with the toy series 2 um, and figure number one. Um, on the back, it shows a another 30th anniversary little logo, Transformers Generations, and it shows him in his robot mode, his armored car mode, and his helicopter mode. It shows his little stats down there, and his bio. I will read you the bio. Um, Autobot Springer was built to be a tough guy. Everything about him, from his nickel-plated blaster cannon to his bad boy attitude, is calculated to communicate exactly what he wants it to. That he's a no hold barred take no prisoners kind of guy. He prefers to fight alone, trusting his skills and luck to get him to get him out of tight spots, rather than relying on his fellow warriors. After all, other Autobots fail. Autobot Springer never does. So I really, really like that bio. I'm not sure why they had to call him Autobot Springer, but oh well. Yeah, I didn't guess Springer is just too generic. It says Rotator blades become sword, two launching missiles, and triple changer robot to helicopter to armored car. His stats are strength is a 10, intelligence is a 8, speed is an 8, endurance is a 9, rank is a 7, courage is a 9, fire blast is a 7, and skill is a 7. So he's a pretty um, skilled dude. He could beat up most Decepticons. But, um, so here he's in his armored car mode. Very nice. I really love the yellow and the green, the gray, and the silver bits. It's just really, really nice. My biggest nitpick is this is a pain in the butt to, to, to get him into this mode. I mean, these flaps up here are supposed to be tabbed in a little bit higher. I can't get it to do that yet. It's just a pain, pain, pain my biggest biggest nitpick in this mode otherwise this is fantastic he rolls very very nice um I did have on one of the wheels I had a I don't know if you can see that but there was a little piece of plastic from the molding that was jutting out so I had to sand that down so it could actually roll these do um rotate but um if you really wanted to, you could take his blaster, plug it in on him, and have it like that. But, uh, yeah. But, um, it's very nice. He's got the really nice Autobot logo right there. He's got the green headlights that are translucent. He's got the translucent, um, clear headlights right there. Nice silver bits. Um, overall, he's very nice. I mean, he hides everything very, very nicely. But, um, yeah. So, um, to transform him, you're gonna wanna um, take his little leg pieces. You're gonna wanna take them and fold them out. You're gonna wanna rotate these around. Take those. So you're gonna hear a snap, and it's gonna pop in. Do that with this one. There you go. To hear it pop, you're gonna lift these in the back up. You're gonna fold these down. So then you're gonna come to the front section, or yeah, the front section. You're gonna take these, and these right here on the side, you're gonna. This one's always a pain in the butt. <clears throat>
it's supposed to just pop up. There we go. Take that and fold it there. And you're going to take this and you're going to fold it up like so. You can take this and it should have right in there. I don't know how long this is going to. There we go. Should tab right in like that. You're going to take this little peanut panel and you're going to just plug it in like that. Then you're going to take it and you're going to rotate it back and leave it like that. So do that on the other side. Pull that panel up and around. Take this and fold it up and up. Tab it in, hold this piece down, and oh, it untamped itself. And rotate it all the way down here. Tab it back in. There we go. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take the cockpit and you're gonna lift it up, slide it forward, and it's gonna tab right to the front. We can hit the click. There you go. You're going to want to take his legs and just going to lift it up a little bit like that. Take his knee pads and fold them down because they become his landing gear. Pull them as far as you can out. You're almost done after that. You're just going to leave his legs like that. I mean, position the back end however you want. You're gonna come in here. I really don't have that great of nails, so I'm gonna. There we go. Use this little sword to let me get his other landing gear out. You're almost done. Then what you want to do is you're going to take a sword and it just unplugs itself. There you go. Unplugs. Fold it down like so. And you're going to take this and fold it up and they're going to tap right into the top. There we go. And then you're just going to take it and you're going to Plug it in right there. And now you have Springer in his helicopter mode. It's a decently simple transformation. I mean, it's not extremely simple, but it's um, it's not really, really hard. I mean, it's not later class figure um, hard. It is a class two transformation out of the three, so it's not bad. Um, again, very, very nice robot mode, or not robot mode, a vehicle mode. He's into the helicopter, his rotor blades spin very nicely, so you can have a flying. Um, the cockpit just lit up, it looks very nice with the autoism right there. He has little wings and his headlights and everything like that. I mean, overall, it's, again, it's very nice. The biggest nitpick I have for this is his arms. They can kind of just go in and out and wherever. Mine are pretty secure, so they don't flop all over the place. But um, I wish they would have tabbed into something. I'm pretty sure the other Autobot Triple Changer does. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw that off Autobot Optobotamus's review. But um, this is very, very nice. Um, you're supposed to be able to plug the gun into the bottom of his carpet right there. I just haven't found it, figured out how to do that yet. But, um, leave me a comment telling me what you think of, or how to do it. But, um, I really, really like this. It's very nice. Just give you a little 360, um, got a little thrusters in the back. Just overall very nice. Oh, the other nitpick I have is probably 
that the ratchet joints are in here. I wish they were silver, or the yeah the light silver that they are. Um, but besides that, it's just very very nice. I mean, they all have flaws in some way because they're triple changers. You can't have it perfect because they have. To, it's really hard to get two one robot to change into this and this and this. I mean, so it's. But they did a really really top notch job for. At being a triple changer, this is by far, I think, the best Springer ever released. But, um, yeah, it's just very, very nice. Um, so, now to change him into his robot mode, the grand finale. Get my camera situated. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove that. Oops, I think your phone. So what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna fold these, untap them. You're gonna kind of just bring them down like so. And you see the little cogs down here that are spinning. This has a little peg that when it goes down, or it's gonna go down this way. You get a little peg right there. I don't know how you see that. It's gonna just peg onto one of those, so you just do, and then you fold these up, and then they're just gonna interchange back into a sword. Set off to the side. Then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna first you're gonna probably want to do his legs just so you can get him into standing position. So take his legs, take this and fold it up. You're gonna want to take his legs and you're gonna split them apart. Then what you want to do is you're gonna take his feet, fold them in, then you're gonna take the little green piece and fold it back. Do that on the other side. Fold this in and slide it forward. So you can say that this slides forward. And you're gonna flick his heel out. You're going to just leave those little back pieces there, or if you want to move them, do. Um, then you're going to take his knee pads and fold them up to wherever you want them to be. So then, now you can have them standing. There we go. And now for his arms, you're going to want to take them. You're going to rotate them up. Take them, and you're going to want to rotate them up. So they're up there. Then you're gonna wanna unplug the side. You're gonna bring that down. You're gonna rotate this, or yeah, you're gonna rotate this around. It's gonna tab in right there. And then you're gonna open this up and rotate this fist out. Then just close that back up again. Get that on the other side. Fold this down. Pull that all the way down, rotate this up, tab it in, undo that, pull this fist out, close that, and then you're almost finished. Then you're going to take his head, and this is always a pain in the butt, or it usually is, there it is, it's kind of hard to get his head out. You're gonna take his head, fold it up, have it angled downwards. Then you're gonna take this and fold it over his head and plug it right there, leaving his head up. Then you're gonna take these and they're gonna tap them right into the side and right into the side. And um, oop, this one came undone. There we go. Oh yeah, and then you're going to want to unplug these, so you can have full range of motion. <laughs> so, um, you're almost done. Then you take the back panels, and slide them up, and out, and up, and out. And there you have Autobot Springer in his robot mode. And um, in his robot mode is where he absolutely 
shines. I mean, just absolutely shines. Um, but well, I'll give him his. His weapons. Take this. Well, I guess I'll show you the gimmick first. You can take these. His gun, and right here, you can hold it here. Or in here. And you can just bang, bang. So, yeah. There's some decent missiles. They're just friction missiles. And then, um, I just dropped the other one on the floor. I'll get that one in a couple seconds. You can take the little peg right here, and there's a peg hole underneath here. You can turn his sword into a big long bayonet, which I think is very, very cool. Um, the coolest thing about that is then you can actually get Springer to actually hold his gun with two hands. As you can hear, he's got very, very nice ratchet joints. Just click, click, click. So you can hold him, rotate this over here, whatever, and then you're going to rotate those up, and you're going to take his hand, you can rotate that around, and then you're just going to put it in that hand and plug it into the handle of the sword, like that, so then he can actually hold his gun, with both hands. And I think that just looks really cool. Um, I do prefer him without the bayonet little thing on, where he's actually just holding the sword. But, um, okay, what you gonna do? Ugh, there. Got the other friction missile. Plug that in. And I'm just gonna give you a little close up just to show you what I did. I took his hand, and um, I still don't know if you can see that that well. And took his hand and just kind of plugged it right on there. And um, so he's holding it, but yeah, no one really wants to do that, so. I'm gonna just unplug it, rotate that around, like that, rotate this around, rotate the sword. Have him with his sword and with his gun. And there you go. And you can have Springer. Some very cool poses like that. But, um, I mean, he just absolutely shines in this mode. Um, just to show you some how well this light piping works, take my little light and that's with the light. You can see his, his eyes just look like they're glowing. That just looks incredible. But yeah, it's just incredible. Well, I guess without the blinding line, I guess you could get him to kind of, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, it's just very, very nice. Incredible figure. Um, point of articulation, he has a, um, I want to say it's a ball jointed, but I can't. It's um, hinged neck. And he can look left and right, left and right. Um, his shoulders are at hinges. You can go in and out. Re they can um, rotate 360. They have ratchet elbows. They can rotate at the elbow. They can bend at the elbow. It's ratchet joint. They can rotate at the wrist. They can go in and in and out at the wrist. Um, I do not believe there's any waist articulation. Um, he has ratchets at the hips, so he can go in and out, forward and back, 
He can rotate at the hip or the upper thigh. He can bend at the knee. He can um, which are ratchet joints. Because of his transformation, he can bend his knee out to where it looks like it's broken. But he has toe articulation um, and heel articulation where they can go pivot up and down and stuff. So overall, he's just a magnificent figure. Get a nice look at his face. Just awesome, awesome toy. I'm so glad I picked him up. He is kind of going for a crazy amount on eBay right now. So very pleased with this. Um, This is the little flaring out of the yellow. It's more for the, he's based on a comic book version of him. So it's very, very nice. Um, you can leave him down to get the G1 look, but um, I like to leave him up. I think it just kind of adds to making him look a little bit bigger. It gives him more flair. I like him either way, but no, but I'm probably going to be displaying him like this. So um, that's it for this review, guys. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, hit the like button. That always helps. And I'll see you next time.